Hey everybody, welcome back to Create Tutorial. Today we're going to go and talk about the next option in the Assistant Tool Series, which is Ruler. And this is more of a digital ruler that can measure out things within Krita. And because I was working on bookmarks, I figured that would be a fun way to demonstrate the ruler, just to like check the sizing and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now first, I want to make sure your ruler, or I'm sorry, your guides and your ruler up here, the top and the left hand side are on. If they're not, you can go to settings, dockers, and grid and guides. And under the guides tab, make sure the show rulers is on. Now, if you're using a light canvas color or a gray that is blending in with anything, you can go ahead and change that color here. That way it shows up a little easier on your canvas. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the assistant tool option and go down to ruler. This is different than the parallel and infinite ruler. This is more for measurements. So we're going to go ahead and put that down here. All right, so by default, this starts off with zero subdivisions and no minor subdivisions. So right now it's just a plain line. It's not really useful. I can't do anything with it. But what I do want to, what I would like to do is just kind of compare it real quick to the size of my canvas. So if I right click up here, I can go to inches, or if you want to use something else, you can. And I'm, oops. And I am going to, I'm going to take this and make it the length of my canvas. So this is approximately 12 inches long for the ruler. So if I want to line this up with the actual size of the canvas, I can go to 12 subdivisions. And if I go to the first marker here, it's a little off, so I'm going to align this a little better. There we go. So this is about the one inch mark. You can see because that top bar with the guide is on the very top of my canvas, there's a little white line that's moving with my mouse. If I hover over this first mark in the ruler assistant tool, it basically lines up. Same with the second, third, fourth, yada, yada, yada. So now I have a ruler that's 12 inches long. Great. So I can go ahead and turn that back to pixels if I want. Um, I don't really need it to be um, need it for anything else. I just wanted my base level. So now I can go to my assistant uh, tool options. I can actually change the minor subdivisions. So just like you have on a ruler, you have points. I'm sorry, lines in between the inch marks or whatever other mark you use on the ruler, and you can put that up to five. So it's not like quite perfect. If I do, I think three, no, I'm sorry. I want to do four. There we go. So this would be like the halfway point. So if I go back to inches here, yeah, that's your halfway mark. So if you need uh, more fine tuning for your measurements, you can do that. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to go back to my assistant tool options. Click on that. Why are you over here? There we go. And I'm going to do fixed length as well. So now, if you want something to be specifically a fixed length, no matter what you do with this assistant tool, you can actually do that. So as you can see, it's at 12.01. So I was pretty on the mark with just manually measuring it. But I'm going to force it to be 12. So now, when I go to move any of these points, it will immediately, oops, stay at that 12 inch mark. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this down here and I'm actually going to hit shift just to make that a straight line. I'm actually going to remove the subdivisions because it's a little hard to see and put this, I'm going to line up with the bottom corner here. So now that I know that this is the inch mark, we've already tested it a couple of times. We made sure it's specifically locked to a, um, a fixed length in inches. I can go ahead and see how long this overall bookmark with the bleed is. So I'm a little over seven inches. So if I go back to my assistant tool, I don't know why this is all it's very sensitive for some reason today. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, minor subdivisions. All right, so this is about half. So we're going to say it's probably about 7.35, give or take. 
All right, this is an approximation that I'm not measuring exact, but you can see how the middle point here is the half mark, so 0.5. And this point here, probably more like 0.4. I'm on the wrong layer. That's fantastic. <sighs> That's okay. So we'll say it's 7.5. 7.45. All right, so this is a guesstimation of like the length, but this actually helps anyway because I can say, all right, this is at least the rough idea. So if I, if I need to put this in a template to print, because um, a lot of printers will say, hey, if you're doing a specific bookmark size, you need these dimensions with the bleed. At least I can kind of measure to see how far off or how close I am. And it's kind of nice that um, with the ruler option, I can at least measure that out immediately and not have to, let's say, um, guess, because sometimes I do that. <laughs> uh, you could also just go ahead and make your box in these dimensions, but they don't have it in inches here. It's just in pixels. So if you wanted to uh, oops, verify that length, you could do that. Or at least help make um, your own box. Let's say we'll actually hide that layer. We'll make a new layer. And we will take our measurement tool or our ruler tool. Oops. And we're going to move that. We'll say move that here and we'll line it up at the bottom of my canvas. And we'll go two options, snap to assistance, so we know that overall the height of this ruler is 12 inches and this is 8. So let's say we want it to be 4. Oops, I'm gonna... using the wrong color there. So you can see it still will link to the ruler, so I can make a nice straight line. And I can take that ruler, move it over here. Hit shift so I can straighten that out. And then let's say I want to make a nice straight line here. But I want to stop at that inch mark. So I don't want to be anywhere near that inch border. So I can go ahead and do that. Same on this side. Actually, what I'll do I'll make the bottom border here. So this is about about two, it's ten inches. So that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna erase this. So as you can see, I have the snap to assistance on, but not the eraser. All right, I'm gonna move that up. Okay, so we know that this is, let's see here, One, I think we determined it was just a little over 7 inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, a little over 7. So now when I go to do anything, I at least have a boundary box of, yes, this is exactly 10 inches by, it was like 7 and a just under seven and a half, somewhere around there. So I've measured out my dimensions. So if I want to go print this, for example, I at least know exactly what size it's going to print. All right, and that's pretty much it for the ruler. It's just a great way to kind of verify sizing and measurements. Um, if you need something specific, especially if you're doing print work, maybe you just want to roughly double check the size of um, your overall 
print or the box and you don't want to use the rulers or you're within a canvas like this and you're just making a bunch of mock-ups and you just wanted to make sure that all the mock-ups are going to fit within a specific size so it's just a really easy way to double check that um obviously you want to double check your print uh your final print on that because sometimes printer settings if you have the fit to page that can actually mess up with your size so you just want to triple check things when you go to do your final print um, but otherwise this is great for just double checking things and making sure that yes this is exactly a two by seven bookmark i've checked it i did the i used the guides as a size but then i wanted to make sure i lined it up properly with the ruler all that good stuff and it works all right so if you have any questions about the assistant to ruler let me know in the uh, comments down below it's a very basic tool nothing too crazy um just great for checking measurements and things. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you would like to watch more of these tutorials, make sure to subscribe, especially if you like to do more or look at more art-based things or learn how to use creative for your actual art illustrations and creating products and all that good stuff. All right, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.